1124 and it is Thursday. That means we are graced with the presence of the presentationer, presentation editor of Florida Weekly, Eric Raditz. And I'm graced with you too. <laughs> so glad to have you here, Eric. Good to be here. So our first subject, I'm kind of interested on this. You know, a lot of people think of Disney when they think of Florida, but you guys are taking a look at what else you can do in Florida that kind of was here before the mouse. Yes, and that's what we're calling it. So when you think and your friends talk about Florida, we know that you're talking about Disney World for the most part. What about if we took a trip back in time about 80 years ago or so and we rounded up a bunch of posters and images and found out what it was like to explore Florida's roadside attractions yes before there was Google Maps you had to use a real map and there was exciting attractions including the Shell Factory for one which is still here hundreds of others hundreds of others including uh, Cape Coral Gardens Gatorland Caribbean Gardens Rattlesnake Museums Marine Land to name just a few uh, we get stories from author Ken Brusler, who's kind of an expert. He's been collecting these postcards and photos from the 30s and 40s. And we take a trip through time with us this week in Florida Weekly, when Florida was a totally different place, but also still kind of the same awesome place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, maybe for not the people that are uh, a little bit queasy, they may not want to listen to this part, but you were telling me about a really fascinating uh, medical technique that is being done by a man in Fort Myers. Yes, and so for, and we take a look at the business end uh, of the CEO of m -Site, which is in Fort Myers, Patrick Penny, and he's an entrepreneur who started doing platelet-rich plasma before the general public was even knew what it was, and still much of the general public doesn't know what it was. I had to do my research, but he runs the Fort Myers business, which focuses on healing plasma and selling its product to doctors and medical practitioners worldwide. Uh, and as a note, not to brag, but he says after 20 years of developing, he offers the best platelet-rich plasma plasma products on the market. So if you're looking for some good platelet rich plasma, <laughs> I know right I where mean, to go. Give a little example, like what are they doing with this? Well, they're healing, and and I did, it's 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 kind of something we talk about a little bit, uh, but but people are buying it because they're healing. So you take the platelet-rich plasma, don't quote me on this, and then you apply it uh, to areas that need healing, and it's supposed to help it heal. So it's got a healing properties. But he's been running the business. It's right here in Fort Myers. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And you know, as we head into summer, it's hot out. It rains a lot. Some people may just want to stay inside. You guys are breaking down all the films this summer. Yes. Yeah, so definitely, if you're not too sure uh, what to do with all this heat one good thing is to go check out a movie in the air-conditioned movie theater and and so what's coming out this summer for the movies it's the big summer reveal everybody so are you excited about toy story 4 or aladdin or lion king uh, spider-man far from home there's an x-man coming out godzilla dora the lost city uh and much more find out when they're coming to theaters be sure to get that good air conditioning stay safe out there in that sun and one bit of bad news if you're a star wars fan you still have to wait till winter <laughs> Which isn't a surprise, but yeah. just uh, it is not a summer. We have to wait till winter for the Star Wars. Sure, no. with your son, you'll be at the movie theaters a lot this summer, yes, huh? Yes, I will, definitely will. All right, uh, if you don't want to go to movies, we have some things and top picks for you. Not too sure what to do. Uh, we compile a list of calendar items to do, and we have all the coolest things to do in town, so there's no excuse if you're looking to get out. A couple of uh, top picks I will mention to you, Art Garfunkel, as of Simon and Garfunkel fame. Going to be down at the Broadway, uh, Barbara B. Mann. Uh, Tom Green at Off the Hook Comedy Club. We have Angela Hicks performing and Al Holland down at Fort Myers Beach. Little Shop of Horrors at the Broadway Palm Theater. Much, much more. Uh, get out there, bring a friend, bring, uh, make a new friend, just go by yourself, have fun. Find out all the cool things to do at floridaweekly.com and pick them up on stands and on your device. All right, Eric, we will see you next week. Thank you so much. Thank you.